Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Expo with Raman. Today I will write a code for the pattern generation. I, I will generate for this pattern in JSON log code. Here, what is the pattern it is? One repeating one time, two repeating two times, three repeating three times, four repeating four times, five repeating five times. Okay, let's decode the logic here. How it repeating? Here, one repeating one time, two repeating. Two times, three repeating, three times, four repeating, four times, five repeating, five times. Yeah. Let's make one array. Let's make one dynamic array for storing one, two, three, four, five. Okay. After that, you can change here some logic inside the another array. Let's write a code for generating for one, two, three, four, five. Let's declare a class. Test. And int k. Let's generate this pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like that, we have to generate constant unique. This is the unique values. Unique. Okay. Let's fix this size. What is the size? It is size equal to 10. Okay. Now reach of a of i if a of i sorry this i you know if i greater than 0 what is the value for the here you can see for generating this pattern you can make the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. What is the value for 0 index? 1. What is the value for the index 1 here? 2. What is the value for the index 2? 3. Okay. But what is the value for the index 0? It is 1. Okay. After that, it is incrementing. For the first location, uh, first 0 location, it is 1. For after of that, it is incrementing to 1. You are add, uh, adding one incrementing here for let's here you can see f a previous value it's incrementing by one here equal to f i minus one f my high minus one means let's consider this one f f one equal to f i minus one which is two minus one you understand na? here f i minus one which one zero value let's consider it is zero zero location okay zero location is what is the value for the first location after incrementing in the f0? That's why I am incrementing 1. Yes. This is for the from 1. First, uh, first location. This is from first location to 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to n values. n locations. But for the 0 location, you have to fix value here 1. Yeah. 0 equal to 1. You got na? Here you can see f i equal to f i minus 1 plus 1. Let's, let's decide f 1 equal to f, what is the value f 1 equal to f 1 minus 1 f 0 plus 1. f 0 plus 1 what is the value of f 0? That is 1. It will generate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. Okay. Now here you can see you need another dynamic array. Why is need? Because this pattern need to be repeat one repeat one time, two repeat two times. How you can generate another pattern? We have to create another array here. Let's declare another dynamic array in B. But you know, you know the size of this uh, pattern array? No. You have to be calculate this one. How you can calculate this one? Let's see here. I will take small example. Okay. Here. 1, 2. This. one. How many times? 1 need repeat. 1 repeat 1 time. 2 repeat 2 times. But here you can see. What is the sum of this one? 1, 2, 3. How many values are there here? 3. Here. The sum of the elements of the this dynamic array equal to the 
sum of the elements this size of the pattern array here you can see what is the size it is 3 what is the sum it is 3 ok let's write a constant for it constant fix this size a dot sum equal to b dot size for this uh, pattern dynamic array b dot size ok now write a logic for generating 1 repeat 1 time 2 repeat 2 times inside the post random function y post randomize how you can generate this pattern here you can observe here this values let's take this example 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 1 repeat 1 time, 2 repeat 2 times, 3 repeat 3 times for these values. I will take in the one array which is uh, 1, 2, 3. Have, this is the unique values I have inside the this dynamic array. For the A dynamic array, this is the values inside. But you have to be generated this pattern inside the dynamic array B. Okay. How you can generate here, you can see what is the index for the one i equal to 0. What is the value? It is 1. Correct. Now, here you can see what is the index for the one value? It is 2. Correct? Now, index 2 value? It is 3. Hmm. Here you can see what is, let's make it as index value 0. 0. What is the value? It is 1. Now, what is the value of index 1? It is 2. Now, what is the index value for the 2? It is 3. What is the index value of the 3 here? That is 3. 1, repeat one time. What is the index 2? 2. Now, index value 3. 3 is 3. Here you can observe, let's take it here. Okay. Here you can see, yeah. here first location for the this uh, B dynamic array, J equal to 1, J, J equal to 1, J equal to 2. What is the value? It is 2, 2, 2. For the I equal to 1, what is the value? 2. If 2 value will be there, how many times it need to repeat? 2 times. But here you can see, you can fix this value. See here. How many times we are getting? For 2. For 2, how many times it repeating? 2 times. 0 location, let us uh, make it as 0 location. 1 location, which means 2 locations it need to be get. What is the value? It is 2. But how many locations? Two locations it need to be there inside the this second dynamic array inside the B. Okay, here two times this zero one. But what is the value? It is less than the value which is two less than. It need to repeat zero one zero one location. Less for the three value. How many locations it need to repeat? Here you can see for three. It need to be zero location one location two location. Yeah, for this one, for three value, it need to be three times. Zero, here you can see. Zero, one, two, zero location, one location, two location. It need to be, what is the value? It is two location means it is less than three. Less than three means how many locations are there? Three locations are there. It is less than three. Okay, you have to be write a code. Whenever the less value which is less than three, then you have to update the value here. Insert the, this pattern array. Okay, let's write a logic here. Here, for each of f i. Okay, 
now here you can see i equal to let's make it another for loop in j equal to 0 okay how you can fix the maximum value here j less than the let's decide here i will decide this maximum value is b no b less k k equal to f i here you can see less for each it will range from 0 to n value okay 0 location for each of 0 location will come first a of 0 a of 0 means j equal to 0 yeah it will assign to a of i which is a of 0 will assign to k k is 0 let's make it k into k k equal to 0 okay k equal to 0 location it will fill initially now next what is the value it is f next next iteration it is f1 what is the value f1 f1 it is 2 okay 2 here you can see how many times here it need to repeat this loop inside this uh, this value assignment for 2 value how many times 0 to 1 it need to repeat how many times 0 to 1 it need to again 0 to 1. 0 to 1 means what is the value it is? It is 2. But where you have to be fix this value here? A of i. The maximum value is A of i. You understand now? Here 0 to 1 for 2 values it will it will assign directly. 2 values. Yeah. Hmm. Let's increment this value. J of plus plus. Okay assignment happen properly now end function now let's stand up at this class db what is the classroom test here you can see initially it will uh, what is the initial value it is k is equal to 0 but after secondary trace what is the value it need to be there it need to be 1. You have to be increment here. Yeah. T. Now. Initial. Begin. Test. Declare a handle. Create a object for it. Randomize this class. The, this part pattern generated so, p come on what is the pattern it is what is the in okay that is b p dot Here you can see, you understand now what is the logic here? Here I will explain again. Here the size, how you can decide the size? The sum of the this array, which is first dynamic array. Here you can see sum of these values, which is 1, 2, 3 value sum is 6. How many values are there for this pattern array? 1. 2 repeated 2 times, 3 repeating 3 times. How many values are there? 6. Okay. If you have a unique values, 1, 2, 3, then the pattern dynamic array having the how many values? It has 6. That's why a dot sum equal to b dot size. Okay. Now, what I am doing means here you can see you have to understand for the 2 repeating 2 times. How many values to it is? Let's make it as a one other another for loop. 0 location it need to fill to first location it need to fill to same location which is another location whenever it is incrementing this k plus will increment it, it need to fill but what is the value it is less than the this value which is the first location value okay 
first location are less than, then it needs to be this value. That's why I am doing 0, j less than the, this is the maximum value, okay? j less than the f of i. You understand now here? Okay. Let's run the code. Here you can see what is the value is printing. One repeating one time, two repeating two times, three repeating three times, four repeating four times. Yeah, this pattern is generated. If you like the content, please share and subscribe.